Hi guys, welcome to Kingfisher's uh, Bait and Tackle Clinic. Today I'm going to be doing Garrick, in particular sliding with circle looks. Okay, what we require for this is our Maxima 21 kilo, some heat shrink that will go around our number four uh, barrel swivel, pair of braid scissors, <clears throat> a lighter, small piece of Dacron, one cable tie. Obviously, it depends on which way you actually want to slide, if you want the slippery slide or the nappy pin slide or our normal non-return slide. For this um, bait and uh, trace clinic, I'm gonna be doing three different traces all in one clinic. So, first of all, 5-0 tuna circle. That we use for mullet and moss bunker. We've got the normal tuna circle, which is the black one, which we're gonna use on our mackerel baits. And of course, for shad, we're gonna be using a 7-0 tuna circle look. Okay, to start off with, let's just grab some nylon, about a meter in length. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna use our normal uh, Kingfisher slide. Uh, it's the non-return slide, non-weighted, eh? With live bait, you do not require any um, weight on it. Uh, dead bait, weight. Without uh, dead bait, the fish is gonna swim out by itself. Very simple. There we go. Okay, first things first. Uh, let's start with our 5 tuna circle. So we need to snell it. Okay. How we do the snell, very simple. We go through the eye from the bottom up and we wrap it around three or four times. It's very simple. One, two, three, four times. Take it back through and we just pull with the right hand. We just keep on pulling the nylon until it starts getting tight. There we go. There's a figure of eight forming. Lubricate, slide down. Quick and simple. There are different ways of doing it. This is just the quickest way for me to do it in the time that I've got. So there's step one done. Step two, attached to our non-return. And again, it's just a figure of eight. Gonna go through it. And we're gonna wrap it around three times. One, two, three times. As quick and easy as that. Open up, form our figure of eight. Pull the knot tight and then slide the knot down. Okay, let's just do that again, cut that. Okay, so there's our slide ready to go. This is a 130 pound Dacron. Take a lighter, just melt it down so it melts. I'm going to be doing a bridle rig for this. Uh, mozzie that I'm going to put on you. So to do it, all we're going to do is go through the Dacron twice. So we go through once and then we just go through the back part of it. There we go. Just like that. And then I'm going to slide it onto the barb of the hook. There we go. Give yourself a little bit to play with. Like so. And then we go through it again once, twice. Slide it over the barb. Take our scissors, our braid scissors, and we'll just cut it there. Now what I do is, I melt this side too. If you don't do that, what happens is the Dacron starts fraying open and it does come loose. So, for double strength purposes, that's basically what it looks like. There we go. I require a cable tie. Got that. So let's get our mozzie and I'll show you how we do this. Okay. So basically I've got my live mozzie. This one for demonstration purposes unfortunately is dead. It's also a bit frozen, so nothing I can do about it. Okay, so take your small cable tie 
and we cut it at an angle, giving it a sharp point, like that. So you've got a very sharp point on it. We take our live mozzie, hold it in your hand, that's wet. Take your cable tie, and you slip it just under the top part of the eye. There's a big, hard, bony area on a mozzie. So all we do is you just slip it in underneath it, pull it out on the other side, like so. We then take your live mozzie, stick the Dacron through it, and we just close it. Cut off that little extra bit that's there. And that's pretty much your live bait rigged for catching your garrick. You take this now, leave it in your bucket. Take your grapnel sinker. Obviously your leader is attached to the power swivel over here. You throw it out into the lovely deep blue ocean. You take your slide facing down towards your sinker, the arm always facing towards the sinker, wrap it around and let go and your live bait automatically will swim down the line. It's as simple as that. But there's your live mozzie for Garrick, rigged with a circle look. Gobble and go and the Garrick will be there. It's so easy. Done. Okay guys, so this is part two of uh, the Garrick slide trace and different ways of rigging it. The first one I did was with Dacron. The second one I'm going to do is with a swivel. So all we do now, because I'm going to use a live mackerel, cut my tuna circle off. I'm going to be using a 6.0 tuna circle. Obviously a mackerel is a little bit bigger. It's also darker in uh, complexion. So we go into the black ones. Okay. So there's my tuna 6 -o. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna snell it quickly to the, the nylon. And again, it's as simple as that. All we're gonna do, give yourself a bit of uh, nylon, and this is 21 kilo maxima, if you haven't seen the first one. We wrap it around three or four times. There we go, went four times. Take the tag end, and slide it through the back of it. And we just use this hand to make that whole loop system go smaller, smaller, smaller. And right at the end, we just give it a little bit of a tug and you can see there's all those uh, lines lying perfectly over one another. Pull tight, slide down, cut off the little tag end. Okay, so there is my slide ready for my mackerel bait. What I require now is a bit of heat shrink. I'm just gonna get myself a bit of heat shrink there. And this will be 4.8 mil heat shrink. And I don't need a big piece, a very small little piece. So that's more than enough. I'm using a number four barrel swivel, Kingfisher barrel swivel. What we do is we take our heat shrink and we slide it over the actual swivel, like so. Take our lighter. The light quickly and we start melting the heat shrink. You can make a whole lot of these at home before you even go fishing. So there it is there guys. I'm just gonna cut off this little bit here, just to neaten it up. There we go. So that is basically what we're making. You can make 10, 12 of these and it almost probably last you the whole year. There we go. Just like that. Take our um, cable tie and we just give it a cut at an angle to form a sharp point. Make it sharper, there we go. A nice, lovely sharp point. We then take our mackerel, wet your hands of course. On the top of the eye is a hard bone. Just below it is where we insert our uh, uh, cable tie. So we go in there, we slide it all the way along and come out the top over there, like that. That's all we're doing. We then take our swivel, Slide that there. Close our cable tie. We go around and we close our cable tie. Cut off the, the tag in that's sticking out, like so. We then take our 
6-0, and we slide that through the swivel part. You can see where the heat shrink is there, and all we do is we just go in there like that and pull it, and the whole thing goes through. So there's your live bait with a swivel. It turns around, it rotates, it's free, it's nice and stiff so it doesn't actually hook into the bait anywhere. Okay, obviously you go and attach this now to your, your rod. Obviously the arm length must always face to where your sinker is. Rotate, 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 rotate. Clip it over like that. Let your mackerel go and there he swims off. You just hold your rod, you don't have to shake. The mackerel will swim by himself. But there it is there. Very quick, very easy. You can rig your live baits, have them lying in the actual pool before you even use them. It's as simple as that, guys. There we go. A very simple way of rigging a live mackerel. And the reason we use the, the black tuna circle is its color comes very similar to that of the top of your mackerel. If you look at it from the top, it basically looks like that. So black hook, black top, Silver hook, if it's a silver fish, uh, mullet, shad, mozzie, anything along those lines. That's why we use this tuna circle. There we go, guys. The reason we use the Dacron and the swivel with the cable tie is that the bait stays alive a lot longer than if you're actually inserting the hooks in the back or underneath uh, the live bait. That is the main reason, guys. So. Using Dacron, using a power swivel or a barrel swivel is definitely a better way to fish for your live bait. It keeps it alive a lot longer.